a part of me is like, I can see myself kissing him. <laughs> I'm drunk. I don't give a f Wait, that's me, Joyce. You might know me for being your local internet bestie, confidant, or badass But there's one thing you might not know about me. I've never had a boyfriend. We're back in my room, so you know what that means. More love <laughs> So if I'm going to find my first boyfriend, I really need to dive in. So with the help of my best friend, Lindsay, this week, I'm going speed dating. When I think of speed dating, I think of that day in elementary school where you had to change your desk in like the middle of the semester and you already like had friends that you were comfortable with and then you had to make new friends and then the person sitting next to you steals your pencil and you watch him use your pencil every single day. So you're just kind of like screaming in agony waiting for the next semester to come so that you could go back to your original seat. So you don't wanna do this? No, but I have to. I told myself in 2022, I will fall in love. And if I fall more in love with myself, that's amazing. But it would be nice to have a 6'2 cutie holding me at night. Hey girl! Hey boo! As always, mm -hmm. I am here to help you through your dating journey. So what's new? We're going on speed dates. I love this. Mm -hmm. This is awesome because you will have multiple dates in one sitting. Mm -hmm. I've never really been on a textbook date. Yeah. So I'm definitely kind of like, what do I do? Okay. Do I put my arm here or here? I can sense the anxiety. <laughs> the first thing I want you to realize is this is fun. You're supposed to have fun with this. Yeah. You're in control with this. Make sure you don't have any red onions before you go like I did because it's in my teeth. <laughs> so do you have any idea of some of the questions you want to ask them? I feel like I failed my homework <laughs> I always think about the questions that I would ask RM because it's the only person I've ever had premeditated questions for. Ooh, do tell. I've always wanted to know what his night routine is. Okay. When's the last time he cried? Oh, I like that, okay. What song reminds him of hope? These are great questions, but with speed dating, you have a very limited amount of time. Mm. So you like art, you like music, you like books. What's the last book you read? You know, have you been into any art galleries lately? Because mm. already it's gonna let you know He's like, I haven't read a book since 1972. Well, first yeah. of all, we know he's probably a little bit too old. I'm for about it. to say. <laughs> she basically told me, make sure that you're interviewing them for how they'd be with you. Yes. You know, and really put myself first in what I want in a person. Because I have such a short amount of time on these speed dates, what are some green flags and some red flags I should look out for? Yeah. When you ask them these questions, do they have answers that have some emotional depth to it? Or yeah. is it all just fluff? where it sounds like they're saying what you want to hear. Be careful of the love bombing answers. If all they answer with are sexual innuendos, mm -hmm. keep it moving. Okay. Remember, we don't want a situation ship. We don't want a situation ship. We don't want a situation ship. Mm -hmm. Also, obviously, if there's any talk about an ex, green flag. So a guy that has things in common with you, is he showing that he's obviously interested in you and what you have to say? Is he listening? He's looking me in the eye. Do you feel an instant attraction? Do you get that little zhuzhuz, you know, that little, you know, a little twinge, and you know? I feel like I've been a pushover for a long time and I'm still single, so maybe I should be a little bit more decisive about what I want and how I want to be loved. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people limit themselves? Oh, I would never do speed dating. I'd never do this, I'd never do that. What I love about you is you're open to it. It's scary as hell, mm -hmm. I get it. But you're open and it's going to happen for you. You're gonna meet that guy that you're gonna be sitting on the porch watching anime, you know, listening to, what's the name of that group that you just told me about? BTS. Yes. I could bring Bay to the BTS club. Yes, honey. Her. Her. <laughs> Her. <laughs> Joycey. Hey. We're here at the Plus Bus mm -hmm. to find you the best speed dating outfit Okay, so wait, what are you looking for? So as your friend, I know how to help. I want to look young and trendy in the Y2K kind of look, but I also want to look like hot and approachable. Okay, okay, okay. Shopping montage. Shopping montage. <gasps> this, is Ooh, like I'm this is something you would wear. <laughs> oh, look at this. No, let's put that away. <laughs> I never really shop for dating or something. Like I always yeah. go to get like a pair of jeans. <gasps> this is giving me euphoria. Your boobies will look good. Uh, yeah, we do everything for the. Ch <laughs>
It's just fun to get you something special for what could be the start of something new. Okay, High School Musical. <gasps> Are those little hearts? Yeah. A sign. Ready for love. Fashion Dior. Date me, date me. You just want to date me. I mean, I do love these skirts, like little preppy moment, but then you'd be sitting. Yeah, and my coochie would be in the air. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. There were so many fun outfits. You want me, you need me, you want to eat me. There were some outfits I was like, oh, this is gonna look weird. And then I was like, oh! It looks so good on you. I love the fit of this. Wait, I thought it was gonna be too dressy. Yeah. But you could like wear tennis shoes or something with this. Yeah. Mm. Oh! Just a little peek a butt. Oh! Peek, peek, oh. peek. Hi, my name's Patricia. I really like the way it looks. I think maybe you can just either wear something to cover the holes. Yeah, I need to cover. Or holes. you can we can find a cute top, like yeah. a jacket. The holes need to be covered. Not this hole. Not this. Oh my god, you look like a dream cloud. I feel like this is like soft girl joints. Like I feel like I've never shown the world this. Like with a little color. Oh. oh, it's adorable. I feel like open and ready in this outfit. For love. For love. <gasps> but we don't know if we're picking this one, so stay tuned till yeah. the reveal. Watch all of it. There's honestly too many good options, but I think we found the one. The day of. I want you to lather yourself up. I want you to listen to your favorite music. Like, mm -hmm. have a pre-date ritual. And if you want, you can even have your girlfriend come over as you get ready. Yeah. Because a lot of times you're in your head before the date, so this kind of loosens you up. Good morning! We are getting ready for the speed dating. Yes, it's a morning speed date. <laughs> we don't make the rules. We're gonna just have a little get ready sesh. I was so anxious. Um, Mother Nature was knocking at my door. She needed to poop. I'm nervous. This is the closest thing I've ever been to like a real date. Other yeah. Than, like a sneaky link. I was watching some video last night about some like TikTok couple that are like really art hoes and stuff. And they're like kissing each other's shoulders. You know, I bursted into tears. And then I was just thinking about today. Like, I think if someone like actually starts flirting with me, I might self combust. The reason why I'm going on the speed dating is because there are parts of me that I've never met because I have walls up. As black women, we're always constantly putting other people first. And when it comes to our love life, a lot of times we let that go to the side. It's hard because I've worked so hard to become this person. I've built myself brick by brick. I did the work. I did it, and I hate that there's a part of me that doesn't think I'm good enough. I am so tired of this strong black woman narrative mm. No other race does that. Just walk through life as Joyce. That's more than enough. There's a beauty to this. You do not have to put up this front of this wall, feeling like you're not good enough for something real. It's time for something real. It's time for something. It's right. time. Oh my god, George, you look so good! Thank you! She looks like a dream! I've you... literally never worn something this short in my life. You look so hot, but also so f cute. That's you! <gasps> look at that butt. Bubble and <gasps> squats. If I've been down to the sea. Please. Everything was looking so romantic, so cute, picnic, champagne, daytime vibes. Mm -hmm. You ready? Let's do this, bitch. I was looking down at my pencil, and then the men arrived. And they were cute. You know, it's really hard when you just like, you love all flavors. Maybe I want some, you know, Belgian vanilla. Maybe I want some cocoa. Maybe I want some Nigerian cocoa. Welcome to speed dating. So each of you guys have five minutes to mingle before I ring the bell. Don't ask for each other's number when you're in the five minutes because if you are a match at the end of it, we will connect you afterwards. All right, have fun. Your five minutes starts now. Hi, Joyce. Hi. Michael. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. First of all, love the necklace. Thank you wow. so much. I was going very Gen Z. Yes. You got great glasses. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Warby Parker, I can't take the credit, wow, so. You are. 
I got these glasses twenty five bucks. Really, online. really. Yeah. See, I overpaid. <laughs> you <kinda Damn>. did. <laughs> <laughs> he was cute. He was nice. He had a bubbly personality. But I'm from Philadelphia. I'm mm -hmm. a voiceover artist. Um, Voice. Oh wait, wait. So give me your like your favorite voice that you've done. I don't really have one. I just do like commercial voices. Give and, me a uh, commercial voice. Um. Okay. Uh, being a single dad is a lot of work. But, <laughs> I trust the bounty, the quicker picker-upper, stuff like that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I felt very high femme around him. Okay, not to be dramatic, but like, while you guys were talking, I like, almost started tearing up because I was like, imagining... <laughs> and I was like, imagining if you guys were like, get married. <laughs> and I just like, started tearing up because I'm like, he just looks I'm... like someone that would like, cherish you. I'm 28. You're 28? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 26. You are? Okay. I know. Everybody thinks I'm in my 30s because my titty's so cute. <laughs> really? I it's thought you insane. were younger. Thank you. It's the I Gen Z know. necklace. It's it's Gen Gen <laughs> I need more Gen Z in my life. Oh my God. A part of me is like, do I just see friendship? But there's a part of me that like, I can see myself kissing him. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, that was great. So yeah, nice to meet you. So yeah, nice yeah, to yeah. Meet you, love. Hope the rest go smoothly. Yes. Joyce was awesome. I think Joyce is way cooler than I am. So there's that. I think I kind of just lost track of time. And then when that bell came in, I was like, whoa, I would have liked a, little, a couple more minutes and continue doing this. So then after the mystic energy of John Michael, I went interstellar with Kenny. So tell me your astrological sign. I'm a planet. I'm not really a, no, a no, star no, no, no. in it. What, okay, what planet rules your sign then? Um, is Jesus Christ a planet? <laughs> I'm a more like a frequency, like a sound. Yeah, and I came Explain. from, I, I ju literally just came from heaven yesterday. So, uh. He was well dressed, he was handsome, he's a creative. Yes. He's a very LA guy. He's a, v he's a very LA guy. You're a recording artist, you're an actor, you run a clothing line, you talk like an intellectual. That's because I used to be an alien, but I just. Oh, just oh, what yeah. planet? Glupcorp or Glopcorp? You went to Glopcorp? I went to no. Glopcorp. Glopcorp was it's crazy. crazy. Glopcorp was popping. <laughs> I really enjoyed our banter, and yeah. I really thought he was cool, but he gave me two fist pumps. And so therefore I was no longer into it because that just gave me friend vibes. Yeah. That's the intergalactic. Yeah, go be intergalactic yeah. with the next boost. <laughs> Joyce? Oh, she was wonderful. I would say, no pun intended, the conversation was out of this world. Hi! Whoa. Wow, what a handshake! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Charles was fine. And then he grabbed my hand. Um, Did he? Mm, like a firm grasp, like he'll hold me tight. What can happen in five minutes? Oh my gosh, you know, the first moment I saw you, I knew that you're your mother's favorite. That's funny. I feel like you and your mother are so close. We have a pretty good relationship. I knew it, and look at the earring. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about experimental music. His mom loves Glee. You love Glee. I know. What is your favorite hobby to do when no one else is looking? I play random games on my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> tell, me your, tell me your favorite Game. It's called balls. <laughs> you literally just pull a little arrow and the balls just bounce back and forth and hit blocks. But my other hobby, <laughs> when people are thinking, <laughs> music or photography. Oh, music or photography. Uh, what are some of your hobbies? Oh, and he played football. He had a sports ring. I'm just trying to be his touchdown. Nice talking to you, Sean. Oh, you too. You're amazing, honey. Uh, thank and you, you got a you strong grill. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> the conversation with Joyce was great. Uh, very first impression, she's funny. She's hella funny. But she's also really nice and really sweet. Hey, Hi, I'm nice Michael. To meet you. It's nice to meet you. I saw Michael and I was like, hmm. And I was like, huh? And then I was like, <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah. Oh my God, your eyebrows. Thank you, thank you. I will introduce you to my eyebrow lady. I mean, it's, it's, it's you stunning. You cry tears. I, it's worth There'll it. There'll be tears of beauty. He flirted with me. I was like, Rah! on the inside, but I was like, <laughs> on the outside, does that make sense? <laughs> okay, so what are you watching? I've seen, have you know what Spirited Away is? I watched Spirited Away, and oh, it made me cry. Classic. It made me cry, dude, it was like so nostalgic yeah. and so, well, he's a Sagittarius. Oh, yes. He's in therapy. Oh, okay. But I go to therapy. All right, me regularly. too. Me too. Ugh, how many months? Oh, uh, like a year and a half now. Oh, that's a turn on. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How long have you been in therapy for? Uh, a year. A year? Wow. All right, look at us. Look, we can oh, cry together. Oh, my God. Together. Uh, how could communicate with me? Oh, my wig is going on. <laughs> 
look at that. Hide at me, hide me. Joyce is hilarious. We're just clowning around, and like that's something that I look for in somebody. Thanks so much for coming to our speed dating event. Make sure you fill out all your cards, and I'll let you know if you have any matches. Here's my problem. I could see myself with three of them. No matter what happens, like I can be the girl that falls in love. All right, I have the matches in my hand. I don't know what they are. Or match, I don't, or no match, I don't or know. No, we don't know. I feel, I feel like I'm 14 again. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> okay, there's one. There's one, okay. It's John Michael. Ah, okay! Are you sad or happy? I'm happy. Okay, good. I just, I just, I don't know what to do. I just, no, I'm happens to me before, leave me alone. Wait, I don't know what you just said. <laughs> I'm not getting up. Honestly, this experience was overwhelming, exciting, and if you if you touch me, I'm a thousand degrees right now. Oh my god! <laughs> I think for the first time in my life, I was okay being seen in a romantic setting. As your fairy dating godmother, mm -hmm. I am so I want to get emotional, but I'm so oh, proud guys, of you stop. for putting yourself out there and being in touch with your emotions and loving yourself enough to do this. It's gonna happen for you. Stay tuned for the next video where maybe she goes on a date with John Mike. So cute. He's so nice. Bye.